everyone, it's Johnny from Toonzilla. Today we're gonna go over the Flashzilla light. We're gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna show you how to use it to flash a car. So first, when you receive your Flashzilla light, it's gonna come in a box, uh, hopefully not damaged. We're gonna open it up. Uh, there's gonna be a couple things inside for you, um, namely this Toonzilla. And then your dongle, there might be some stickers. This one doesn't have stickers, but there might be stickers. We're gonna open this up. Inside the case, we've got our USB cable to plug the tool into the laptop and the dongle itself. Um, the dongle will have a serial number on the back. You'll use that serial number to register the tool to your Toonzilla user account. And that way you can keep track of all your purchases and you can edit and rename the files and do all your flashing from your account through the tool. So now that we've got this out of the box, Let's go flash a car. So the first thing we need to do after we've unlocked or unboxed the Flashzilla light is we need to register the device. So you grab your serial number, go to fzl.tunzilla.com, which is on the dongle. And then we're going to just input our device. Okay, my name my last name and my email com. submit register successful so since I already have a Toonzilla account I don't need to register for one um, but if you don't have a Toonzilla account you will need to register for an account to be able to use this tool now that that's done uh, we can download the software, which I've already done, but you just download it, install it wherever you need to, wherever you want to on your computer. Now we go back to the app and we can fire up the Flash of the Light app. Okay, so this is what you'll get when you first get on the screen. Um, if you haven't logged into the app yet, it will prompt you to log in. Um, you'll log that in. I can see I'm logged in at the top there. Then we'll go to Tune. It's really straightforward. There's only one thing to press. So I'm gonna hit Tune. Make sure your car is connected to a battery charger. It is. Click Next. Connect the flash of the light device to your car. So I'm gonna get that sorted out here. And get that in there. So it's connected to my car. Turn your ignition on put it into the start position. So for this, it's keyless, so we're just gonna press the button without our foot on the brake and that turns it on. Okay, car is on. Now we'll turn it. And we go next. It's gonna identify the ECU automatically and it's gonna identify the TCU automatically. So it just will go right into that. You'll see a bunch of faults. That's pretty normal okay so now it's processing what it's doing right now is it's looking on Institune to match our box code from this car to any tune files that we already have on Institune and then when that's done it will pop up anything that's available for us to go and fetch so now you can see I've got stock tune uh, I've got stage one, 91 octane, stage one, 93 octane, stage two, 93 octane, uh, and it goes on and on and on. So I've got stage um, stage three, IS-20, a couple different files for IS-20, and a file for IS-38. TCU, looks like it's stock. So what we'll do here is if we want to flash one of these tunes, we'll pick stage one, 91 octane, it, the app pushes you to Institune to finish paying for the file. So then you get to the Institune, um, you select your file, I wanna go 91 octane, select this. It's gonna show you here the price. I'm gonna continue. Tunezilla prevent tune, blah, blah, blah. You say, yeah, I'm not gonna street raise. I acknowledge and agree, okay then it's gonna get you to finish purchasing the tune. We're gonna go 
my name, and then submit. Okay, your new file has been added to your FZL. Return to your FZL app to manage your tunes. Go back to the app. Now we refresh. It might show up, but you probably have to refresh. When you refresh, you'll see now you have stock and a 91 octane. So here is your 91 octane. So I'm going to click this, and then I can flash selected file. You flash selected file, it's going to flash the car. Um, we're not going to do that on this one because this is just for an example. But if you look down on your TCUs, we'll select. you'll see the TCU, there's no files available. So we want to request a DSG tune for this car. Since there's nothing showing up on Institune for the transmission like it does for the engine, we're going to go search for more TCU tunes. Again, it's going to take us to Institune. And it's going to tell us there are currently no Institune tunes available for your vehicle. Our team has been notified. Please, please contact us to proceed with tuning. So when we click this, we can make a request. What this does is it opens up a tune request ticket. So we're going to custom tune uh, request changes. I would like a stage one TSG tune for this sport wagon. And then we hit submit. Been submitted. You can view the ticket if you like, which is just gonna pop you back into your ticket. But it has some more information here. It'll show your it'll show your stock DSG um, read. And then any correspondence with our calibrators or our sales team will be done in here as well. And this uh, will link to your account as well as your email. So you'll get notifications to your emails when the um, when there's updates on your ticket. So now essentially we we wait. <coughs> So we won't be able to flash the TCU right now. We gotta wait for them to respond to us and upload a file um, to the server for us. So let's go ahead and give them a minute to do that and we'll be right back. All right, so that actually didn't take that long. So you see, um, I see a couple messages from one of the calibrators. So view messages, boom. So now our ticket has been updated with some files. So it says, um, here's your tune, enjoy. So you don't actually need to download this. There's nothing you really need to do in the ticket itself. You can see here, there's a, a TZ Tunzilla Johnny file. Okay, cool. What we need to do is we just need to go back to the app, refresh again. And you'll see your stock tune, your 91 octane tune that we purchased already. And then we see our stage one DSG tune. So we can flash the TCU, flash selected file, or we could flash ECU, flash selected file. Um, once those are done, you just need to do your regular uh, reset adaptations for the TCU, go and clear faults for the ECU if there are any. Um, but yeah, that's it. When you're in your tune, or when you're in your Flashzilla app, sorry, this computer is terrible. Uh, you can go in here and you can edit. So I could change this to be um, blue sport wagon stage one. Let's make it spell it properly if we're going to do it. If we're going to do something, do it right. Submit. So now this is how you can organize your files in your, in your tune library, essentially. Blue sport wagon stage one. You can even go in here, DSG stage one, if that's what you want to call it. And then if we get more files down the road, if you want to do a stage 191, stage 193, or if you want to do like a stage two, it'll have all of the files that you've purchased so you can go and rename them all. Um, these ones here, they're just linked to Institune. So if you want to upgrade, you can just click on it it'll again take you to Institune you'll pay for the upgrade fee and it'll be added to your tune um, your tune purchases in here but yeah that's pretty much it we're not going to go forward and go all the way through flashing um, it's it's very self-explanatory you hit flash 
and it gives you your status uh, status bar and then you're good to go so yeah that's uh flash of the light tuning at home <laughs>